Hi, I'm Angie. Welcome to RV360 by National Indoor RV Centers, where we have all the details on the latest coaches. NIRVC is a trusted resource with RV lifestyle specialists who are here to help you find your dream coach. NIRVC also supports you well after the sale with storage, service, and detailing. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to do a video on the 2025 Integra Arc. This is the 18C floor plan. Now this is a great little B van. So it's nimble, it's quick. If you wanna use it around the city, you can easily do that. And then you've got your sleeping area. So it's very multifunctional. So if you just wanna, you know, have it be your everyday car, you can do that. Plus take it on adventures. So it's really a nice option. Now, before I go into all the details, I've got a couple of assignments for you. First of all, I want to hear from you. Let me know um, if there's anything that I left out that you want to learn more about when I do these videos. And second, and most importantly, I love doing these videos to teach you about the vans, but more than that, I love to sell these. So make sure when you're getting ready to, you know, go out there and start your shopping, come to National Indoor RV Centers first. We have RV lifestyle specialists that are ready and waiting that want to help you. And we want to put you in the right uh, van, coach, whatever it is you're looking for. We want to know how you're planning to use it, what you want to do. Um, you've been saving for these. These are expensive vehicles. Um, we want to make sure we put you in the right thing. So let us, our experts, um, help you put you in the right coach because we just want a happy customers and we want customers for life. Also, if we're not in your area, that's not a problem because we have a fly to buy program. So we will fly you to one of our locations so you can take delivery. When you take delivery with National Indoor RV Centers, we want you to spend a couple of days with us. There's a lot to learn about these. Um, and you know, if you spend a couple of days, try everything out, you feel much more comfortable when you do leave and you're ready to hit the road and start those fun adventures. All right, so let's start at the very top. We've got our marker lights and we've got the antenna for the coach. Then we have our nice big windshield. This is what you get to view the beautiful country with. And up at the very top, you'll see kind of a triangle with the top cut off. That's going to be part of your safety package that comes with these Ram Permaster chassis. So you're going to have lane keep assist, um, forward collision assist, active braking, um, pedestrian, it's gonna monitor for pedestrian and cyclists, um, drowsy driving, lots of things packed into this. And what's so great about that is we want you safe as you're RVing, so it's gonna help you do that. Um, electronic stability control, I can go on, but I won't. Okay, then we have the rain sensitive um, windshield wipe wipers. Then we have our front hood here, the chrome um, front grille with the Ram. Uh, again, this is the Ram ProMaster chassis 1500. Uh, this is the short wheelbase. So this is 136 inches, um, less under 18 feet. So I think it's 17 feet, 10 inches long. So like I said, this can be your everyday vehicle if you want to. We've got the LED headlights and we have the intelligent high beam um, headlights as well. So they will dim uh, with oncoming traffic, which is a nice, nice feature. Uh, then you'll see that we've got the parking assist and blind spot monitoring system. Again, that's gonna be helpful when you're parking, just keep you safe um, as you travel. Hook up here if you uh, need to be towed, hopefully that doesn't happen. And then we have our fog lights. All right, so let's check out what we have underneath the hood here. Now your actual chassis battery is gonna be um, kind of where your the driver's feet are underneath that area. But if you need to uh, jump the van, this is where you do it. This is your ground right here. Then your positive is right here, just attached to that plate there. Then there's the brake fluid and then the coolant, air intake here, oil dipstick, oil fill, and windshield wiper fill. And then the reservoir is right back there. The ARC sits on the 225-75-16 tires. Then we have our exterior mirrors, which are powered and they do fold in. So that's really nice if you're in a uh, tighter parking space. 
they will fold in. They are internally controlled and you do have to defrost and then you've got your marker light here, turn signal in the side mirror. The Arc has the nice reinforced side running board. You can see it's super strong. It has a little grip here so that you're not gonna slip. It's also got an LED light strip so you can safely get in and out of the van. Now, one of the things that's great about Integra, and this is across the board from their B's, their C's to their, their A's is pretty much everything comes standard. So that's what's nice if you're ever buying a used um, Integra, you know what comes on it because everything's standard. So one of the things that comes standard is the Thule awning. So you're gonna have nice shade. Also, it's going to connect either here to the side of the van or you can put it to the ground. So depending on the situation, where you're camping, where you're parked, you have options. And then if you put it into either place, you have that third point of connection, which makes it a little bit stronger. So let's go ahead and take that awning out. So right inside the door, you've got your main power switch, your main light switch, your awning in and out, then your awning light and your step light. So that step light is what I just talked about. That's gonna illuminate that area right here. Let's go ahead and take out our awning. Now that we have the awning out, let's go ahead and take the legs out. So they're super easy. They're just right here at the top of the awning. You just push in to release the leg and you can bring it down. You've got stakes so you can stake it in the ground here if you weren't on cement or you can bring it back here. So you just lift this up, put it in and then secure it. So you just do the same thing over here, lift it up place it in, lock it in place. So now you have three points of uh, contact. So one, two, and then the top of the van. So it's gonna give it a lot more strength. So now that we have the awning all extended and secured, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the light. And we've got the nice LED light strip. So it just makes for a nice little evening environment here by the campsite. So a little awning safety. <laughs> I never have my awning out unless I'm outside enjoying the outdoors by it. Um, you know, I'm from Texas. We have crazy storms that kick up instantly. And if that happens, you wanna be able to bring that in. Um, even if it has a shake sensor, it's just, I've seen way too many awnings over the top of the vehicles um, because the occupants weren't around the van or the coach when the wind came around. Right inside the van, you've got the fire extinguisher. Now this is great if you need it outside in the camp or inside the van, it's very easy to get to. I also think you need to check out Protang. It's a fire suppression system. If you know anything about National Indoor RV Centers, you know that we only promote products that we truly, truly believe in. We can give you a custom quote for your van, your coach, whatever you have, class A, B, or C um, today. So just give us a call and um, check that out. So this is one of my favorite things about van life. First of all, I've got the nice awning out, so I've got some shade. I may want to work for the day for my van, so I do want to enjoy the outdoors. I don't want to have my generator running all day, so I'm going to go ahead and just set up my screened-in porch here so I can keep all the bugs out but still enjoy the beauty and the fresh air from outside. So I'm just going to zip that shut and do the same thing on the other side. And then I've got this nice magnetic closure here. So you can see it closes all the way down. I'm gonna keep all the bugs out. Then even if my furry friends needed to like pop out real quick, they can do that. So that's just nice, good and strong magnetic closure all the way down to the bottom. So one of the things I love about Integra is they claim to have the quietest riding, best handling coaches on the market today, period. So one of the things that contributes to that on their B vans too, is that they add the Hellwig springs there. So that's not normally a standard option. Again, that's standard with Integra. Those um, Hellwig springs are gonna give you more stability, more strength and sturdiness in the chassis and less sway when you're cornering. So that's gonna be really nice. So that's a great feature to have standard. Then we have the two 110 outlets. As I come around the back side of the van, let's start at the very top. We've got our uh, marker lights. And then you'll see right below that center marker light is our rear view camera. So that's gonna 
give us that help when we're parking, which is really nice. Great shot from the front camera. Then we've got our brake lights here. So uh, the Ram ProMaster chassis has the 3,500 pound tow hitch. So that means you're gonna be able to easily take um, the toys along with you that you wanna take. So if you're carrying uh, uh, jet skis, no problem. If it's just bikes, no problem. You've got the seven way for uh, brake lights and then you've got the four way here. And then behind this panel, you've got this nice um, steel panel here. On the other side of that, you've got your fresh water tank, which is 21 gallons and your gray tank, which is 24 gallons. So it's nice, you've got a, a steel plate protecting those tanks and they do have a heat pad um, to keep it so you don't have to worry about freezing on those tanks. And then you've got the sensors for parking and blind spot monitoring all across the back. Let's take a peek in the back real quick. So I love these doors open all the way. So you've got your toilet paper holder there. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to reach if you open up the doors, <laughs> but you do have a little cargo net, a little carrying spot. And then you're also gonna notice that you've got the blackout curtains that you are just magnetic. So that makes it super easy to have privacy in your back bathroom. I do love this setup because I feel like it gives you a little bit more room. Um, if you want, you can open the doors. If you're having a shower, you can open those doors and then you've got a little bit more elbow room. Um, now, right, right here, we do have where we have access to the cassette toilet. So that's a, a 4.75 gallon cassette toilet. So it's just behind that panel. You're gonna go ahead and release it with this blue lever right here. It's going to pull right out. And this is, you know, your little suitcase um, for the sewer. <laughs> and then you just wheel it away. But what's nice about this, obviously it's portable, but you can adjust that arm so that uh, you can get it to the right place for dumping the tank. And then this is where you can add uh, like the Microblaze. Basically, Microblaze is a product that we, we use at National Indoor RV Centers and we recommend. So Microblaze is gonna put little microorganisms in there and basically they're gonna make everything liquid, which makes it much better for the dumping. This is a little uh, air valve here. And then these are the valves that will work when um, you flush the toilet, basically. So it's opening opening that the lever inside the toilet does that you've got a little liquid in there because this has been winterized and then when you're done doing all the dirty work clean up and it just pops right back in there locks in place and then we'll cover the rest of the bathroom when we get inside over here to the side though we do have our external shower so if you want a little bit more space or if you're coming back from all day of hiking or at the beach you can wash off out here before you get into your van and then we've got our rear light here so you've got a little light two 110 outlets and then here's a, um, your shower hose so you can just hook that right up into here and wash off as i come around the driver's side we've got our little light here so that if we want to hook up our city water which our connection is right there we can just hit the light and it's got three levels of brightness and then it goes off and then down here is where you're going to uh, attach your sewer hose or your stinky slinky um, for your gray tank and there's your t-bar for the gray tank so here we have the exhaust for our 2800 watt onan generator you can see that underneath the coach and the exhaust for the engine and then we have the portable where we can plug in a portable solar panel if you want to you know have one over here a lot of times people want to park in the shade because obviously that's going to be nice but then if you have solar on top that doesn't do any good so they bring a portable one so they can walk that out to the sunshine get a little um, power from that now one of the options one of the only options is a solar panel for this coach and we have added that it's a 200 watt solar panel and then we've got our cable uh, TV input, our 30 amp, a short power plug-in, and the exhaust for our aqua hot. So this is your on-demand hot water and your furnace. 
Um, really nice. Another standard for this B van is the Aqua Hot that you will absolutely love. Kind of what you're used to in your big Class A diesels, that on demand hot water, you get in the B van too. We have our side window here. Looks really nice because it's flush with the rest of the window. Then we have the low point drains and the running board for the driver's entry along with the no slip part there. And then right behind this panel is where you fill your 24 gallon gasoline tank. All right, so now we've seen the outside, let's go check out the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2025 18C Arc. So this is our living area here. You can see that I turned around the captain's chair. So it's just kind of nice seating. You can really get four people in here comfortably, two on the love seat, one here, one here, and uh, the captain's seat does not turn around. So someone could sit sideways if they wanted to. Um, but great seating and it really feels quite roomy in here. So if you look, this is uh, six feet, two inches in here. So I've got heels on, I'm five, six on a good day. Um, so plenty of headroom here, plus we've got our fan, vinyl touch ceiling, LED lights, and we have our smoke alarm here and our CO2 alarm there. So safety features built in for us, which is super important. And then here we've got some storage area. And what I really like about this, a couple of things. So inside this little section here, I've got the blackout curtain, just snaps right in here all the way along to give me a nice blackout on this big window. Of course, if you know anything about me, you know that I love light and I love having the windows open, fresh air and the light coming in. That is the beauty of a B van anyway, right? So you can keep your little shade cover in there. You've got more storage on each side. Just beyond the TV, we have two 110 outlets. And then what I really like here, just pull that little lever back and then you're going to have your flip down TV which is really nice, 32 inch TV for a B-Van. Like, I love that, I love that it tucks away. Um, when I first came in the Ark, I didn't even realize there was a TV. I was kind of like, oh, we're really gonna enjoy nature and everything else. But you know, I like to have my shows at night. <laughs> nice little drink and a show, that's great. So um, I love that feature, plus the storage to the either side of the TV. And then when you're done viewing, just put it right away and you hardly even know it's there. Then we've got great storage. So nice, strong, sturdy cabinets. And we've got our cable input here and over the air antenna. So we can lock into local stations, but nice little compartment there, no divider. So you can really optimize the use of that space. Underneath the cabinets, we've got the directional reading lights. So you can direct those and then just push those on and off. So really nice. And then we've got our great balance here, our MCD shade. So just pull that down. Super easy to black it out. Plus I love that it is white. So it kind of fits the rest of the interior, looks very residential. And another favorite is this window. So opens up that easy. You've got your screen or you just unsnap this. Now you have actual window where you can hand something out to a friend if you need to. But I love how easy that window works. So here in the co-captain's chair, I've got it turned around. I've got a great place that I can work for the day or stop and have a you know break for lunch. Um, easily set up the lagoon table here. So you're just going to thread it through the track there and then lock it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my table. So you can see you've got this spot here where it's just gonna thread right on top. All right, so check that out. Ready for lunch. <laughs> Actually ready for work. This would be the like greatest working environment right here. You know, plenty of room, you've got your drinks, got your uh, kitchen so you can prepare whatever you need to and then you get to enjoy the beautiful outdoors while you're working. So I love the lagoon table. I You can even use this sort of from outside. You'd put it lower and then you could put, open the door, put the table out. If you wanted to say you were having a picnic or whatever outside, you could put you know some of your food on this and have the door open. So love that. Another thing that you can do here as well, what I showed earlier, is go ahead and shut your screen door. So now you can really get that cross breeze 
with this with the window over here totally enjoy the outdoors from inside of your van so then we have a nice place for our cup too so cup holder and two usb charging ports so the table is great here you also have an option where you can put it on the seat across from me there got the track and then right in front of that, you've got two 110 outlets. So like I said, if you're working, you can, you know, power up your computer, uh, watch your show, whatever you want from this location or move the table over there. So here's a table, you know, I've taken it off and then to store the leg, you just slide it onto the track here. And now you can easily store that in your back cabinet. So now to the living space, like I said, it feels nice and open because there's no kitchen here. It's back there. So I do like the way that's set up. And we've got our chair over here. We've got our nice little uh, sofa here. Now you can easily get two to three people on this. A lot of the times I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this extra cushion and just throw that up there. And then I'm just going to lean back, relax, pull down the TV, watch my show super comfort comfortable right now this is also going to make into a bed but before i do that i want to show too that there are two seat belts here so two seat belts in this seat which is really nice now let's go ahead and make this into a bed all right let's go ahead and make the bed so i'm going to take off the back cushions to set those to the side then i'm going to pull up the top here this is going to extend, but you're going to take the legs down so you've got some support for your bed and you just push those in, push them down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that out. So nice and easy. And it's gonna come all the way across. So this makes just the half bed. Now I'm gonna show you the full bed though. Okay, so this just flips up. It's gonna come over. It's gonna be supported by the tower there where you've got your cup holder and it just drops down so now you can see where we're getting to here so we're going to just push that back we're going to add in our two other cushions check that out so now i've made the complete bed so you can see you know, two adults can easily fit on this bed. So opposite the sofa, we've got um, the compartment there for accessibility for service. And then nice little storage compartment. And then you've got your toggle switch for your main light here, two USB outlets and two 110 outlets. And right above that, we've got our JBL speaker. So we have a nice little sound system for the van. Underneath the sofa, we have our fuse and breaker box. Everything's nicely labeled for us there. So we have two 110 outlets with the GFCI on it. Then the toggle switch for the light above the captain co-captain's chair and two USB charging outlets. So then you'll see the small circular and the vents here for your furnace which are going to work off your aqua hot system and then behind this panel you have the diagram so that you know um, for the different variations of when you're filling your freshwater tank so your city fixtures city fill tank country fill sanitize your tank normal and then sanitize and winterize your tank probably a lot of you are wondering what this country fill is so this is this allows you to fill your freshwater tank if you're not um, attached to city water and have that pressure you can use your 12 volt water pump to fill your fresh water tank. And then you can also sanitize in that setting as well. All right, next up, we're in our nice kitchen. Again, this just feels roomy for me to be in a bee van. I feel like I could actually prepare a meal here and I have room, I can get to my microwave, my refrigerator, and I've got my solid surface countertop, which is so nice. Above that, we've got more storage. So another big space here with no divider so we can get a lot of items in there and we've got the locking cabinet so as you turn corners make a type <laughs> a quick turn um, they don't fly open and then just below that we have the toggle switch for the light here and then two 110 outlets and two usb charging ports right behind the speaker 
I love also having that kitchen window. I can close it off if I want to, but I've got this sink, residential faucet here, sink cover, which is always nice. Great stainless steel um, sink. And then below that, we've got extra counter space here for prep, which I love. You'll notice that we don't have an induction cooktop here, and there's a good reason for that. Um, it's not, it's a, it's a portable one. Because you think about 90% of the time, you need your counter space and you're not using that induction cooktop. So you just pull it out when you need it. Now this can be your cutting board from the drawer there, or you can set it up here, put it over there. You've got storage underneath the extra cutting board space too, which is great. We'll lock that in. You'll notice we have a nice big gliding doors. Here is our portable induction cooktop. So we can just plug that in when we need to use it and then put it away. Extra storage around it as well. Next, nice big drawer. Look how big the drawers are. Like that's a lot of space. I really love. And then one more big cabinet here. Got a spot where we could put a garbage can and our water filter for the coach. And then across from the kitchen, we've got the microwave. So nice little size microwave will give you an idea. That's the size of the rotating plate. And a rotating plate is nice too for, for a smaller microwave. And then our refrigerator easily opens up. This is three cubic feet. Nice size refrigerator for a van. And then we have storage above our extra seat here. Now we've got a few things we need to talk about in here. Obviously this is plugged in for the microwave. This is our inverter control, so we can turn it on and off from here. And then this is our solar um, controller, so we can get the, we can read the amps that are coming in from our solar panel. And around the corner, we've got the start and stop for our generator, our generator hours, our thermistor for the coach, so we can keep the temperature comfortable, so it's gonna communicate with the thermostat. Our tank level, so you can see that our batteries are full, our fresh is empty, our gray is empty, and then we can turn on our tank heaters here and turn on our water pump here. Directly above me, we have the 13,500 BTU Coleman Mach 10 AC unit, and the control is right here. So you just click in, and then you can scroll through your different options. So your off, cool, heat, or you can do your fan, off, high, low. So then this is just the temperature of the coach currently. And then you would click in if you were going to cool, and then you can change the temperature on the dial. Super easy. We have our aqua hot system, which is your on-demand hot water and furnace. So just click in and you're gonna have the van. This will be your furnace. So if you click into that, you can turn it on and then you can set the temperature. Eco mode, hot or off. So here we can decide what we want to run off of, the fuel or electric. So right now we're just fuel. If you turn it, you're a mix of fuel and your one electric element, and then your fuel and your mix of your second electric element, only one electric element, two. So you've got all your options there. Your fan off, you can vent. So here's your timer, just click in and you can set your, when you want it to start. So let's say we want it to start at 7 a.m and we want it to end at eight. Off. And you can change your time here. And this is your settings. So what makes this van feel so big is having the rear bath. I'm sure of it. That's why that living room feels so big. Now we do have privacy doors as we enter the bathroom. So they close from either side and then they just loop shut so you can see that you can have full privacy in your bathroom you just want to make sure that you lock those back into place um, before you're traveling so that they don't slam open or shut while you're traveling then you can step into your bathroom here we have lots of storage so we've got a wardrobe bar here we've got a spot here for our lagoon table 
and then a lot of storage, extra storage. Then we have three nice size drawers, all the same size. You see that I'm standing in the shower here. We've got the drain and the shower curtain. That's gonna go all the way around so that you're not gonna get any anything wet and keep everything here in the shower. The nice thing about this is that you can shower with these doors open. And what that does is really give you some extra elbow room um, so you're not just tight. You can you can close the doors as well too, but if you want a little, if you're out in the open and you know, or you know wilderness <laughs> and feel comfortable doing that, you can do that. Then we've got our handheld shower with all the controls right here. And the great thing that they've given us on this B van is a shower miser. So what's really cool about that is basically you're not going to waste any of your fresh water tank and you're not going to needlessly fill up your gray tank um, while you're waiting for your water to get warm. So basically you're just going to put your dial here into the recirculating mode. So no water will come out once the water is warm this little blue bulb will light up it will get lighter then you can go ahead and turn the water so it will come out you've got nice hot water instantly and you don't waste any water in either of those tanks then my favorite thing here is behind the mirror great medicine cabinet like i think that's nice and big i really really like that and then below that you just pull down for your sink, hold that faucet right up. Now you've got your sink and then it tucks away when you're not using it. Then we have our cassette toilet here. You can reposition that to where <laughs> you have the most leg room. You got the indicator for how full your tank is there. And then over here, I open this up to the side, you've got the valve that allows you to flush it. And that's what's um, opening that little door that I showed you earlier. You also can add water to the bowl right here push that button there's a little water spigot right inside the toilet and then don't let me forget one of the most important things is a vent here so you can push that button and open that up so you've got some ventilation here in the bathroom um, when you're doing all your business you got the toilet paper holder there on the door and obviously it's covered so it won't get wet and then we've got the towel bar up above love a towel bar and then again just to show you how easy it is to black out those windows they're just magnets and they just pop right back up. So we're finally here to the cockpit. Let's go over the chair first. It's nice and comfortable, very firm filling. And then you can adjust it here. You can tilt it down or tilt it up. Basically just let that out and then you can take it forward and back. And same there. So get your seat just right where you want it. Then you can move it forward and back here. Right here is the control for the backrest. So you can just take that back or a little bit more forward. And above that, you've got your lumbar support. So you can get it just perfect. Here's your lock control for the front doors, your window controls, and then you can fold your mirrors in if you want with that. And then this is going to allow you to adjust the mirror setting handle to get into the coach cup holder. And then just in front of that right here is what you would pull out to pop your front hood. Pull this on to set your park brake and push to take it off. We have our fog light and then you can brighten or dim your dash. Come over to the steering column and you've got your lights. So your running lights, headlights, or you can just leave those on auto and they're automatic. Push forward to put your brights on or just pull back to flash and then you've got your turn signals. So the back of the steering column on the left side are your radio controls. So center is your source and then you can seek and find up or down. On the right side, you've got the center source button for your radio again and then volume controls up and down. Then we have our windshield wiper controls and then you can adjust the speed of those and pull forward for the windshield wiper fluid. So right here on the steering column, we can control the information that we see up on the dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and push in to my trip information. If I click in, I can get more information about my trips. 
Then we go to driver assist and you'll see like your forward collision warning when you're driving. Vehicle information, battery voltage, tire pressure, and oil temperature. Then your radio, navigation, messages if you had any, and then your vehicle settings. So your display, this is where you can set up and kind of customize your screen. Security. Hill start assist. This is going to keep the brake applied so you don't roll back when you're starting from a hill. Safety and assistance. That is going to be your buzzer volume. Then we can answer and hang up a phone call once we've uh, paired it. And then we've got the voice command here. We can connect to you connect, center our horn here. And then over here, these are the controls for the speed limiter. So if you click in here, it says the speed limiter is ready, or you can click in and you can turn it off. Um, when you have it on, you can increase the speed limit or whatever you want to set your speed limit to with this and decrease it there. And then this turns on your adaptive cruise control and then this and this adjusts the following distance and you can see that right here on the screen so it can be far or closer in the center here you have your cruise control option so cruise control is your center button and then you can set once you've set you can increase or decrease your speed from there resume or cancel the difference between your cruise control and your speed limiter is once you uh, put your foot on the brake on cruise control, it wipes it out. So the speed limiter, that it's gonna remain on that speed limit you enter um, until you turn it off. You do get one year free to four um, RV apps that are really nice to have when you purchase this coach. So you get the Campendium app for RV park reviews, free camping, cell coverage, and more. Road Tripper, the number one road trip planning tool and RV Village, the internet's largest RV social network, and To Go RV, which is RV specific GPS navigation and savings and more. So that's really cool, nice little bonus. So right here you have the keyless um, start. So push it once, that will take you into um, accessory mode, and then put your foot on the brake, push in, that will start the van, and then to turn it off, all you have to do is simply hit the button off. And on the, uh, key fob which is really nice you can lock and un unlock and lock just the captain doors up front that's what these two buttons are for this button will just do the everything behind the captain so the side entry and the rear entry doors and then if you hit this button twice you'll you'll lock everything and then a nice security feature is if you're walking up to your van something doesn't feel right you're scared someone is around it that you're not you don't know you can hit that panic button and it will alert all your neighbors, I promise. All right, so right here is the auxiliary start button. This is super important. Um, let's say that you've been to Canton, Texas. If you've been there, you know what I'm talking about. You spend all day, come back, and you can't start your van. Um, so what you wanna do is tie your chassis and your house batteries together and start the vehicle. So you just push and hold, and that should start the van. If not, push and hold. See if you can get the generator started, run your generator, and then try to start your van. So super important button. Then we have our transmission controls here. So park, reverse, neutral, drive. And then we've got our tow haul mode, which is keep you in like a lower gear if you're hauling something. Then we have our great display here. So this is so fun, so easy to use. So we can go to our home screen and you've got your radio controls, um, navigation system. You can add your devices here, your phone. Go to your phone, you can add your phone here. Media. So XM, AM, FM, you've got it all. Comfort, this is gonna be your AC controls. Navigation. vehicle you can check out your rear camera and then applicable apps 
that you can add here. Now what's also nice about this is that you can change these buttons. So let's say you want to have your navigation up front, just hold it and drag it. So now you've got your nav button right there, easy to access. Let's go to our home. Now if you swipe, you can set custom shortcuts right here to items that you want to see quicker too. So that's really nice. And then if we go back to our vehicles, we can go to settings. Now we can really customize some of the things that we see on our display screen here. The profile, all your, direct, your safety features that are built in. Now you can customize those if you want, turn things on or off. your front park sense, rear park sense, drowsy driver alert. So a lot of things that will, you know, help you when you're driving, you can customize what you want to have right here. Then we have our volume control and our power for our screen, our mute button. So just a quick mute button is always nice. Screen off, screen on, and then we can use this manually to change rather than the touch screen if we want. Our AC controls here, so our defrost for our windshield, defrost for our rear window, our max AC, the direction of the airflow, AC, recirculating the interior air, and then we can turn it off and our fan control here. Right below that, we have the lock for the entire van here, your hazards, your lane keep assist, you can turn it on or off here, and your traction control, you can turn it on or off here and your park assist on or off here. And then we have our 110 outlet, 12 volt. And right above that, you can see that I've plugged in to the USB and there's a USB-C. But now if I want to do Apple CarPlay, simply pull my phone out, I've got a little holder here and a wireless charging pad, which I absolutely love. And now I've got CarPlay coming up on my phone and CarPlay at the dash. So now I can put in my navigation system, Google, whatever you choose to use, Waze, you name it, you've got it. Right below that, we have the three cup holders. At the dash, you have a few little cubbies, and then you've got a nice little spot over here, another storage spot here, and your glove compartment here. So we have great storage up here, and we have our sun visors. In the center, we have the light controls for our reading lights and then we can turn those on or off when the door opens or not, we can choose. And our SOS button and our assist button and then our awesome digital rear view mirror that I'll show you more when we do our test drive. So I put the shades up, they're super easy to put in. This is just one big piece, it goes between or right behind the rear view mirror and then you use your sun shades to hold it in place. These literally just push up into place. You just get them set and then push them in and they're just light, really lightweight, easy to store, and just push into the spot, and you have got your privacy. So now to my favorite part, the test drive part. So now we get to really try out the ARC and see how it performs. First of all, I wanna show you how great the backup camera is. So this is as easy as driving your car. I mean, basically the same, and it's so smooth and quiet. I've got the AC running and it is just silent. Charging my phone up here in the little charger and we're off. And now that I'm in drive, check out my rear view mirror. I absolutely love this. This is basically that camera now is giving me the shot. So it's like, I really have a rear view mirror. Now I can just switch to where I have, you know, I can check out my lipstick, um, but I love that view and you can adjust it too. So you toggle between, this is your brightness, and then that's your, you can adjust uh, the, you know, how high or low that camera is shooting. So I like it to be kind of low. So it's just kind of shooting the rear. If I were towing something, I'd be seeing just beyond that, so really nice. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make a left-hand turn here. And I do want to show you like just, it's got quite a bit of pickup. <laughs> so I've got it floored, I'm going 46 already. 
I'm gonna get a ticket. In fact, I just got one Saturday, so I'm not gonna get another ticket. <laughs> not good. Not good. Uh, I knew it was a speed trap too. Um, so nice, smooth, quiet ride. Now my favorite thing to do once I'm actually out on the road is I want to set my cruise control. So I'm going to go ahead and set the button there and then I'm going to get up to speed. We are kind of in a, not a, um, freeway setting here. So I'm going to just set it at 40. Now I can sit back and literally just enjoy the journey. It's so nice. It's so quiet. In fact, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that 58.8 is basically like the same as driving your car. So quiet. And we're in a, we're in a van, we're in our, you know, our beach house, our lake house, our mountain retreat. It's all right here. <laughs> um, that's what's so fun about this van. Everyday use or literally it's your vacation home. And one of the things I want you to put on your calendar um, is for June, the Music City Motorhome Expo. NIRBC will be doing an expo to introduce a new model of gear, uh, coaches, vans, Class C, A, B. You can come, you can test drive. It's a luxury or VIP shopping event. So we're going to feed you. We're going to have drinks for you. We are going to have stellar entertainment for you. So if you are looking to purchase a van, a coach, whatever, as far as motorized vehicle, recreational vehicle goes, you want to come to the Music City Motor Home Expo. It's going to be the event of all events um, and really the only place that you can test drive and really get a feel for all the main manufacturers and their new model year units. So just love this and uh, so put June Nashville on your calendar. So some of the safety features that are built into this, uh, first of all, it has like drowsy driving alert. So that's key. You start to like go over the lines a little bit. It's going to give you an alert that you need to like pay attention. Um, I'm going to, if I try to cross the line without my turn signal on, I'm getting a, uh, like haptic fill in my steering column. So I definitely, it tightens up. It doesn't want me to do that. And I'm getting an alarm. Uh, so want me to pay attention to what I'm doing. So I'm just trying to show you that you have the, um, forward collision, um, avoidance and active braking. It's going to look for pedestrians. It's going to look for street signs. It's going to look for cyclists. Um, the blind spot monitoring, the great cameras, the digital rear view mirror. I mean, so many things to make this a breeze to drive. You're going to love it. So what you need to do, either come to the Music, Music City Motorhome Expo if it's near June. Otherwise, come to National Indoor RV Centers. We want you to test drive the coach that you're interested in. We want you to make sure you're making the right decision. Like I said earlier, we don't want to just put you in what we have. We're happy to special order exactly what you want if we don't happen to have it on the lot um, when you're out doing your shopping. So right in my front dash, I've got my GPS right in front of me so I can see where I'm going. I've also got these quick buttons so I can quickly get to my navigation um, system here, my media, my home buttons. So I really like that. Anything that makes it easier to just have these quick access buttons while you're driving is a real game changer. So other features that you have on this ProMaster chassis, uh, crosswind assist. So it's going to help um, fight, you know, if you've got a strong crosswind coming at you, electronic stability control. And then remember we had the Helwig um, spring. So again, that just gives us that nice stability and uh, really a nice, nice, nice ride. So come out to National Indoor RV Centers. Let's go for a test drive and try one of these out for yourself. One of the things, biggest regret that my customers have is that they didn't start RVing sooner. So don't have that regret. So I hope you've enjoyed my tour today of the 2025 Integra Arc. Now I'm sure you're wondering how much this awesome B-Van would cost. Well, current MSRP is $159,688. 
I'm not going to charge MSRP or anywhere near that price. So give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. And remember with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less at National Indoor RV Centers. We want to make the buying process super easy. We take in trades, we do consignments. You know that you can finance this for 20 years. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call today. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please hit the like and sub subscribe. Also check out our Music City Motorhome Expo, our Adventure Van video, and our AIM Club. We have that for B-Van goers as well as all motorized vehicles. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.